received by all the students of this school. But I'm also just as impressed by the community-based mission that is instilled in each and every young man who attends this school, as is witnessed by their service to such important causes as Heal the Bay and AIDS Project Los Angeles. Over 98% of the seniors go on to colleges and universities. Today you can find its graduates in all fields of endeavor, making tremendous accomplishments, benefiting our society, and advancing virtue, virtues of the highest moral and ethical standing. Some of those past and present students are here today. And I hope that all of the Presley students and alumni in the audience will stand so we can give you a well-deserved round of applause. Today, therefore, we honor Presby Carmelite High School and its historic living legacy by naming this Presby Carmelite Day in the city of Los Angeles. And now I'd like to introduce Presby Carmelite alum and the LA Fire Department Chief Tom Ottman, who is joined here by the principal of Presby, Father Paul Hansen, the current student body president, Giancarlo Diomenico, and the Juan Rodriguez, an alumni member of the North Valley Area Planning Commission. As a 1960 graduate, we learned the core values of service, professionalism, integrity, respect, innovation, and teamwork. For the last 30 years, the Core values as a member of the LA City Fire Department to make LA City a safer and better place to work. We can also ask uh, Father Paul Hanson for that to uh, speak. What a thrill it is for me to be up here. I'd like to propose that not only are we representing and acknowledging Crespi Carmelite High School and the wonderful academic excellence that's there along with the social activities that we do at the school and also the strong spiritual foundation that we offer. We also acknowledge and represent Father Juan Presti, who over 200 years ago named the city of Los Angeles, named this, this river Los Angeles, made his way, his way north to the Encino area and called that area Encino because of the oak trees. We represent that man, Juan Presby, a man of faith and a man of service. We also represent and acknowledge the Carmelites and the contributions of the Carmelite Fathers in the world, but most especially here in Los Angeles with the beginning of Mount Carmel High School 75 years ago. But none of this means anything, whether you're a smart guy, whether you're involved in social activities, it means nothing if you're not a man of service. And I'd like to at this time also acknowledge all of the Crespi men who have dedicated themselves to serving the community. Many of our men go on to be civil servants. They're firemen, they're police department, uh, policemen, sheriffs. They go on to do many things like that in terms of the service in, in, in civil service. We also have men that have been involved in sports, popular sports, in the United States. We have entrepreneurs, people that have been very successful. We've had priests from Crescent Carmelite High School with the Jesuits, with the Archdiocese, and with the Carmelites. We even have a bishop who is the bishop of uh, Fargo, North Dakota. So our men not only are smart, they not only participate in social activities, but they're men of service. And so I'd like to acknowledge and accept and represent once again and thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be here with you. Thank you. Good morning, Honorable Paul Perez and City Council. My name is Giancarlo Di Domenico and I'm currently the student body president of Crescent Carmelite High School. I would first like to thank you for giving Crescent this great honor. Crescent is not only a high school but at Holistic Educational Centers in the San Fernando Valley community. We take great pride in doing several community projects, including Walk Like a Man, a student-run project devoted to raising funds for breast cancer research, and Christmas at Crespi, an event that brings underprivileged families to Crespi and provides them with food and gifts and a true Christmas experience. Crespi is not an educational institution, 
It is also a place where each student gets a sense of faith, morality, social justice, and service to those who are less fortunate than you. It has been a great honor to take part in this ceremony, and I want to thank Paul Perez and the City Council for commemorating Crespi and the 50th anniversary of such a great day. Self-Pride. Good wishes tonight. Who are you playing tonight? St. Bonaventure. St. Bonaventure. Good job and uh, good service. It's an important school, an important uh, part of California history. Thank you, Mr. Perez, for your leadership. Thank you. 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 So Fridays are good because they give kind of a preview of different teams. And then Saturday it's the following.